So they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, especially on Valentine's Day, we'll add. So a strawberry heart puff pastry lets the whole family in on the love, and it's simple enough to whip up on a busy school morning. Recipe creator Tammy Stagel is joining me in the kitchen to share. Happy Valentine's Day, sister. Happy Valentine's. So this could, I'm guessing, technically be a breakfast or a dessert. Yes, yeah. totally breakfast or dessert or snack, whatever you want it for. But passes on <laughs> Valentine's Day for breakfast for sure. Yes. Um, the reason I chose this is because I like to show my love through food. Yes. But on a busy morning, since it lands on a weekday this year, this is fast and easy to put together. Okay. And you can show your family that you love them. This is where I say prove it. Prove okay. it, sister. Show so, us. We're going to do a little puff pastry with just a... Something fun always starts when you pull out the puff pastry. Like, you know it's going to be a creative recipe like yeah. this. Yeah. And, you know, puff pastry from scratch is a little tricky. Yeah. But this prepared puff pastry is amazing. Oh, I would never try puff pastry from scratch, just in case you're wondering. But I would do it from the, from yeah, the box. I have tried it from scratch. Really? And it is labor intensive. Yeah, I've heard. So you just take your puff pastry that from the store, I yes. like the Pepperidge Farm brand, and then you take this heart-shaped cookie cutter, and then you're gonna just cut these shapes here. And then this shape, we're going to score it with a smaller one. Okay. So when we score it, we don't want to cut through because uh, we want that puff pastry to rise on the edges. So I'm using the dull side to just kind of score a mark on it. So it sort of becomes the fence and then the, the dough itself kind of rises against it. Yes. That's cool. Yes. And then what I like to do is just put a little egg wash. This is just a little egg wash with milk around the edges. And then I give it a little dust with sugar. Uh huh. And I had sugar around here somewhere. Did we anyway, take it away from you? Dust it with sugar. Okay. And then you can take your cream cheese. Your cream cheese is just cream cheese and egg yolk, some uh, caster sugar, which is just a fine sugar. Okay. And a little bit of lemon zest and vanilla. And then you just blend this and put it in a pastry bag. Now, caster sugar, where do I get that? You could get it at the grocery store or you could just use regular granulated sugar. Okay. I just like it because then you don't feel the grains it's in the a cream cheese. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So, and then you put it all in a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, no problem. You can just use a Ziploc bag and snip the corner and That's it what works I usually exactly do. the yes. same way. Yes. So, and then you'll just take this like this and you just pipe it inside that heart, the little heart. This is before you bake it. Yes. Uh huh. And then you're going to have some strawberry slices here, and you'll just take two of those slices and okay. kind of follow the shape of the heart. Look, they lend themselves like to this that. shape. They were made for this day. And then with the leftover dough, I cut out these little teeny hearts. These babies? Yep. What since are we I doing just, with them? Since I just had a heart set, yeah. I can take this and I can just put some of the egg wash on it and okay. I can set it on top. Oh, it's stacked. I didn't see that in the middle. That's cute. And then you can have this look right here. So it bakes up just like so. Yeah, and then you can dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar. It's so fast, start to finish. It bakes 15 minutes, maybe takes 15 minutes to put together. So in a half an hour, you can show your kids and your lover that you appreciate them on Valentine's. Through food, Tammy's favorite gift yes, offering. Yes, my favorite. Did I miss the lemon? So the lemon goes in the cream cheese. Oh, it's just a little bit of zested lemon. Got it. And I use a microplaner Got it. to zest it into the cream cheese with sugar, egg yolk, and vanilla. And then you whip that together. And Ooh. then Ooh. your egg wash is just one egg and a tablespoon of milk. Okay, all right. My mouth is watering thinking about the tartness of the strawberries with mm -hmm. the sweetness of that cream cheese, mm -hmm. brightness though with the lemon. Winner. Tammy, yep. thank you so much. <laughs> Where can we get more recipes from you? You can go to bitemeindustries.com and also the recipe will be on Studio 5 KSL website. And be sure you're following Tammy. We'll link you over to her Instagram too. Thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. it.